My name is Tsepe. We are looking at two paintings. We have Barbershop by Stuart Davis. And here we have The Barbershop by Edward Hopper. In both paintings, we can see the barbershop pole. Do you see the red, white, and blue stripes on the pole in both paintings? In Hopper's painting, it's out the window to the left. In Davis's painting, it is in the center. Wow, that is something both these works have in common. First, let's look at the Hopper's painting. Can you see yourself stepping down the stairs into the shop and walking around it? I see a realistic scene that includes the barber and a seated lady at a desk. What else do you see? Now, let's look at Davis's painting, which has a variety of images practically overlapping. What else do you see? Imagine yourself standing in the foreground. Can you walk around? It seems it would be impossible. That is because the painting is flat in comparison to Hopper's painting. Can you describe Davis's work? Davis, who lived in New York City, painted a cityscape of New York City. High rises, signage, a bridge, a sculpture. Can you recognize other images in the cityscape in Davis's work? Hopper also lived in New York City. He painted a barber shop that could be found in any city or town. Now, we are going to look at both paintings and compare them. First, let's look at the colors. Davis uses primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Vivid colors placed next to each other intensifies their value. Note the frame. Each side painted in a different color, white, red, blue, and yellow, echoing the saturated, vivid colors of the images in the painting. Hopper uses a variety of shades, tints and tones of cool and warm colors that are muted, such as blue-gray, white, tinted with blue and yellow, gray, orange, red, pale yellow, and brown. Can you spot the orange bottle on the right-hand side of the painting? and the red stripe on the barber pole out the window on the left-hand side of the painting? Now let's look at the shapes. Davis uses a variety of flat shapes that are bold. Do you see the rectangles, cubes, arrows, and circles he used? Hopper used shapes in a different way than Davis. Do you see how the shadows and light create triangles and rectangles and how the circles, like the clock, repeat throughout the composition? He repeats many of these shades subtly. Hopper also uses shading and modeling in his painting to give a realistic feel to the shapes he is using. The intense colors and many shapes in Davis's work Barbershop suggest about his cityscape. Even though there are no people in it, I see a lively, bustling, uplifting city. How about Hopper's The Barbershop? What do the muted colors and figures suggest? What about the shapes of light and shadow? Do you see the woman's face in the center? What does her expression suggest? What about the faceless head in the mirror? To me, it seems that Hopper suggests is suggesting boredom, loneliness, and possible sadness. What do you think? Both paintings were done in the same time period. They were created about a year apart. Davis Barber Shop in 1930, and Hopper's The Barber Shop a year later in 1931. These were hard times in America, the Great Depression, 
which was marked by mass unemployment, many people lost their jobs, and there was a sharp increase in rates of poverty as well as homelessness. Otto's work is suggesting boredom, sadness, and loneliness, while Davis's is suggesting a more upbeat environment that seems jazzy to me. How would you react or feel during difficult times? What kind of music would you like to listen to when facing difficulties? Lifting or melancholic music that might evoke sadness? In conclusion, I will quote the artist themselves. Davis said, jazz had a tremendous influence on my thoughts about art. And he said, I paint what I see in America. Popper's idea about art in his own words was that, great art is the outward expression of an inner life in the artist. And this inner life will result in his personal vision of the world. How would you express your personal vision of the world in complex or difficult times? Would you paint, write poetry, create or perform dance, or any other way? It was a pleasure helping you think about these two artworks today that show how two artists painting something similar have a different perspective.